Wow. Wow. Wow, this is this is some really deep stuff. I don't know what just happened, but something happened inside of me. Something snapped, something sick. I wasn't expecting that either. Ah, uh, sorry. It's okay, it's all right. It's beautiful. <laughs> Monster is like really small, but it had to become that to stop me. And then the hurt child became present when you mentioned it. And I didn't realize this until now. There were things that I didn't remember yeah. until now. It's funny, I haven't seen that before. It, it feels like I'm the monster. I'm kind of seeing images of things. Of a, of a world where they can exist. This clarity brings all kinds of answers. It's clear. She like hugged me and then went back to her place, I guess, in my heart. Oh, it wants to come out. <laughs> it wants the bippity boppity boop Cinderella me. Like, <laughs> she's like melted into like my chest. It's like ooey gooey. All week, been finishing things, cleaning up more. Started eating vegetables again last week. <laughs> and it kind of just started happening. It's almost like I just finished going through a meditation session. I feel like, like, you know, when you. When you hit that first joint, like, in the morning, and you... I actually feel a lot more, um, awake. Okay. So you say you have lots of parts up. Okay. Let's hear from Yeah, so I'll just mm -hmm. sort of tell you what's been going on today. Okay. Um, and it'll give you a bit of education. Because uh, I don't even know what the parts are quite yet, but um, I just know there's lots activated. Okay. So this this might help me name, name some, or maybe you can help me name some. Yeah. Uh, so I... Um, one of my sons, um, arranged early in the week, asked me if I wanted to go swimming with him and his kids, mm -hmm. um, today, this afternoon. And, uh, I said yes. And he, um, invited one of my daughters who also has kids, um, and just to make this part of the story short, it, she couldn't go. But mm -hmm. part of like this, like I'm having difficulty because I have two daughters with kids. Mm -hmm. And so the oldest one, um, we've, we've, we've kind of tried to arrange going swimming all together um, a few times. But my son hasn't been inviting my older daughter because... Um, her husband, like her and her kids, the ones eligible, are vaccinated, mm -hmm. but her husband hasn't been. Mm -hmm. And um, so my son will not attend anything uh, with that daughter, okay. including Christmas. At Christmas, um, she was sort of disinvited. Mm. so that part gets activated whatever like it's a like doesn't feel fair part and I've and I don't want to be complicit in this but I get the, the not feeling fair on both sides yeah. you know and so it's def I'm definitely sort of stuck in the middle not knowing how to navigate that and it's been you know, ongoing for quite a long time. Yeah. Over the past couple of years, yeah. So 
there's that. Mm -hmm. And then um, I, so I, there was a storm brewing and it got quite bad when I was at the pool and then I got home and I couldn't get in my driveway because like there's a foot of snow in my driveway now because my car wasn't parked there and it just all drifted in. Yeah. So kind of frustrated that now my car is on the street and for I, I have no idea how long it's going to be there um, because I can't shovel myself out. Mm. Right now, anyway. Yeah. Um, so there's that. And then also this morning, I realized I was getting a mark back. Like, I, I, you know, I could see there was an indication that a mark had been posted. And I thought, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look. But I was, like, so scared because I did this assignment. And I thought, this is the worst paper I've ever handed in. Mm -hmm. And so I got... 20 out of 20 on it. Okay. Which a part of me is delighted. Mm -hmm. but another part's just like kind of mad that I can't trust myself, my, my own judgment. Yeah. I stressed over this. Like I handed it in last week. I was so stressed all week about this paper. Yeah. I thought I was going to do really poorly. Yeah. Um, so I, I just, uh, and this happens like I'm in my final year and this has been an ongoing thing. I did an undergraduate degree mm -hmm. and now this masters, um, and all the way through both, I ha constantly felt like I was going to fail and then I would get marks back like that, you know, shocked me. Because they were so good, you know, yeah, yeah. not what I was expecting. But then you have that. But you would think I would be happy about that, but it's it's just the incongruence with how I feel. Right. And then my feedback um, that I, I, I'm just frustrated with why I can't get a good feel, you know? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, it, I'm actually like tearing up and getting choked up. Yeah. Uh, as I say this. So that's the being frustrated about the stress that you put on yourself um, or that a part does about the, about getting good marks and then feeling like you're not able, you're not going to do it. You can't do it. And then that's just a recurring thing. That's what's that's what's bringing the feeling of and and, yeah. and you know so many times I felt like I should just pack it in. I'm not cut out for this. Yeah. And um, and now like I'm 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 only like weeks away from finishing, um, but I have never gotten to that point of. Accepting that I'm good enough, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So which of these feels like it needs your attention the most? Yeah, that last part. Um, mm. Yeah. And it's probably, they're probably all tied together. Like, um, sure. You know, being caught in the middle too. Um, and just feeling like I don't know how to navigate this well enough. Mm -hmm. And yet, I'm not feeling. Like I should feel probably like I am navigating it okay because I'm not taking sides and I'm still managing my relationships with everybody. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. 
I think I, I think I realized that uh, after getting this mark back, um, that I've probably done that to myself, um, you know, throughout raising my kids and and, and my marriage, you yeah. know. Yeah, I just had all that stress. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yeah, so it's like, yeah, stress to really do well. Like, I, you know, like go above and beyond always. Um, because I don't think it's going to be good enough. Yeah. Okay. So that might be a, that might be a, another part, the part that, part that really pushes you and pushes you to go above and beyond. And then the, maybe that part's trying to keep away this other part that doesn't feel good enough. Okay. Could be away the part that doesn't feel good okay so yeah well when you don't you know we don't have to get into analyzing but because we want to get to know them is is the yeah. is the only agenda here but um yeah that's kind of the dynamic that i'm seeing protector and exile So the protector is like a striving part. Yeah, manager. Yeah. Mhm. I would suggest yeah. probably starting with that part and just kind of getting to know its its concerns about the part that doesn't feel good enough just kind of as a rule of thumb to kind of check in with those protective parts first yeah well I mean I'm very aware this driving part is um, is driven by fear mm-hmm Well, yeah, what do you think? Would it make sense to to talk to that part and then see, yeah. where, see where that takes us? Okay. Yeah. So the striving part. Can you notice where that energy feels like it comes from in or around your body? This is, this is sort of complicated because I feel like that striving part isn't here right now because there's nothing to strive for at the moment. Mm -hmm. yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, so I guess there's another part. Yeah, well, it sounded like you were most connecting with this part that doesn't feel good enough. Yeah, that part. Yeah, that, yeah, that's sort of the exile part, I mm -hmm. guess, eh? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm wondering yeah. when that part, when that feeling comes up and that part comes up, does that, do you feel that kind of triggering the striving part? Um, does your... Does thinking about being in the presence of this of this part that doesn't feel good enough does that conjure the striving part and, and does it do it now yeah 
Can you try saying that again? Mm-hmm. So when you think about being in touch with this doesn't feel good enough part, mm-hmm. well, I'll just ask you, how do you feel towards that part? Yeah, there's a, I want to say <laughs> mm-hmm. that I, I, you know, I, I feel like I know its story and I understand uh, why it feels that way. Um, but I, I just wish it would. listen to all the feedback like if yeah yeah i've gotten plenty of good feedback right it still feels that way yeah yeah so when you think about that part or feel that part um are there other parts that are that jump up and just want to get rid of it or mm-hmm. yeah I, I i think i'm sort of connecting with a very frustrated part um, right yeah it would, it's just frustrated that i can't um integrate mm-hmm. that feedback And what would that frustrated part, how would that frustrated part feel about us working with this part that doesn't feel good enough? Yeah, it would like that. Okay. Yeah. Are there any other parts that have concerns about us getting to know that part? I'm not, not noticing any. Okay. Oh, I, I just have like a little distracted part. Mm-hmm. Um, and I can, can I just take care of that distraction? Please. Yeah. So let's try looking at this uh, part that doesn't feel good enough, if that's all right with you. Mm-hmm. Where do you notice that in or around your body? I, I, like, I'm not sure if it's this part but I have like quite a tension headache right now. Like Uh sort of, yeah, just in my forehead. Okay. And it's pretty, pretty close to my eyes. And and actually, my lower back is uh, like it's, I guess, achy is the word. Yeah. Yeah. How do you feel towards it? Uh, 
I have a little bit of curiosity. Um, I feel like I know so much about it already. <laughs> it's hard to be super curious. Yeah. A little bit of curiosity is good. Mm -hmm. And you can just let those other parts know, the striving part, the frustrated part, that, well, you can ask them for some space while you get to know this other part and just let them know if they do want to need to jump in, if, if they have concerns or if any other parts have concerns, that they can do that. So try letting the part that doesn't feel like it's good enough, let it know that you're curious about it. And just kind of invite it to the conversation and see how it reacts. It's um, quietly, quietly agreeing to have a discussion. Yeah. And you might try to let it know that you've, you've seen how the other parts have been hard on it, the striving part or the frustrated part have been hard on it. And then you could try asking if this part feels like you understand it. Yeah, it liked being, um, it liked that acknowledgement that the frustrated part and the striving part have been hard on it mm -hmm. um, it's absorbing a little compassion oh, sorry I um, what was the second part there um, to ask it if it feels like you get it, you understand it. Mm It, um, it gets that I've been really trying hard. Yeah, is there more? Feels like there's more. Yeah, it, it, it feels like there's a butt there, but I, I don't know what the butt is. Okay. I, I, I can't, yeah, I don't know. Is. And how do you feel? How are you feeling hearing from it?
Yeah, it's hard to maintain distance from it. Mm -hmm. How do I feel? You could let it know that if it will give you some of that distance and if it will kind of not overwhelm you or not blend with you, that you'll be able to to listen to it and understand more about it and help it out a little bit and just see if it will agree to that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty reluctant um, for some reason. It really wants you to to hear from it. it sounds like it, uh, and you can let it know that you really are getting that sensation loud and clear. It's, 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 a, it's allowing me to step back a bit. It's great. I'm going to try asking if it feels like you understand it again, if it has more it wants to say about that. I'm just getting some sort of message that I don't listen to it. Okay. Yeah. And how do you feel hearing that from it? How do you feel learning that about it? Are you okay with that? I mean, are you okay hearing it? Yeah, I'm okay hearing it. Yeah. Um, yeah, perhaps it's a different part of me that thinks that I know the story. Sure. And maybe you do, but this part doesn't feel like you do. Yeah. So... Okay, I'm gonna ask it like how how can I let it know? How can it let you know? Right? Okay. We want how can it we, we know its story? Yeah. What what okay. what is what would it like to tell you or show you to help you understand it better? Oh. 
actually hurts like saying that I'm the one that's doing this to it. Mm. I keep reinforcing it. And are you okay with asking it to show you more about that? Yeah, it's showing me more. It's like... <laughs> it's mad at me. Yeah. Did I don't listen to anybody, like... It's giving me feedback that I'm not letting that feedback in or something. Yeah. It's, it's asking me, like, why don't we let that in? <sighs> and I'm just letting it know I don't know why. That's okay. You're letting it in now. Can you see how old this part is? It's very young. Mm -hmm. Like at the oldest four. And how are you being with it? Like, is there a proximity or? A Yeah, it sort of com comes in and out. <laughs> really close sometimes. And mm -hmm. Duh. I'm not sure if I'm backing off or if it's backing off. <laughs> Doing a little dance. This part is like, like, makes me 
bow my head down and squeeze my eyes tight. What's that? What's that feeling? I mean, what, what's? Yeah, it makes me feel small. Uh. Is there? Is it like a like a guilt, shame kind of feeling? A lot of shame. Yeah. It might be connecting to just kind of let that part know that you have you have that feeling you know in you and Actually. yeah and that you know for whatever reason if that's connected to not having listened to it you know it might appreciate knowing that um that that's not that that's not how you want to be with it and that it's and that it really affects you That shame is, is a big driver, like I think. It's afraid, or some part is afraid that, yeah, if I don't do well, mm -hmm. it's going to trigger all this shame. Right. Oh, there's like, there's this, yeah, that striving part mm -hmm. is like really connected with the shame. Yeah. Not a simple relationship. <laughs> sure. Hopefully, by reconnecting with this part and coming to know it and helping it, that'll be alleviated at the source, and those other parts can relax and not work so hard. So I'm trying to understand what uh, Yeah, I'm not I, I don't quite understand the how shame and this not good enough part interact with each other mm, yeah I know they do yeah I wonder if it's just a hypothesis that they're one and the same and it's the shame is when the not good enough part is blended with you maybe or well that's just a hypothesis or if there's shame around having exiled it, having not having been out of touch with it, when it tells when it says you haven't been listening, if that if that's what brings up the shame. Yeah, 
Yeah, it might be because like I'm supposed to be a good listener. I'm a therapist. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And that's what this part wants. So are you able to turn towards it and just ask for more? Just see what else it would like to show you or share with you to help you understand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm curious. I'm curious if it'll enlighten me. I'm open to... Hearing or seeing what it has to say or show me. And I don't mean to jump ahead too much, but sometimes these parts really want to want to hug, want to be held. Tentative about that. Yeah, it's like, are you kidding me? I don't trust you. Okay. So yeah, what else does this part want to show you to help you understand? That it doesn't trust me, like... Oh. To help you understand it and its, its yeah. situation, its pain. I abandoned it. Oh. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's showing me like how this part was like hurt. on different occasions by others, but like, I've created all this suffering. In, insult plus injury of being abandoned. Pardon had, me? It had the original, it had the original traumas and then it had the, and then it had what it feels like you abandoning it. Yeah, yeah. I, I kicked it while I was down. And continue to. And you're okay with it showing you that? That it's perspective? Hurt to hear. And you may have been four years old when this stuff was happening, so... No, it's it's more than like, yeah, it started when I was four, but sure. it's been a constant string of yeah. 
me, like not being there, but even worse, contributing. Yeah, or letting these, or le or letting these other parts push it around, or yeah, contribute. Yeah, you just let it know that you don't want to do that anymore, and that you're sorry, and that you're that you're okay, and that you're glad to be connecting with it now. Yeah, but it's not uh, willing to accept an apology because it's saying I've done that before. Yeah. I've said it. Yeah, I've said that I would do things different and I haven't. Have you talked, I'm curious about that. I mean, have you had a discussion with this four-year-old part before? Like this? Yeah, in, in, uh, uh, this part comes up a lot mm -hmm. and, and I, I, I feel like I've tried to do, like, and I'm burdening with it, and I don't know, it just uh, didn't seem to make a difference. Sounds like it's been really difficult for this part and for you to to build this relationship. Yeah. Yeah. I think maybe I was premature in the unburdening process. Because this whole connection to shame and um, yeah there's a lot of interacting parts yeah I, I, I think I there's a lot more complexity here yeah than I sure was aware of That also might be something that you want to just be direct with the part about. Just say this is, you know, this is a big, this is a big thing. This is a complex project, if you will. And But if it wants you to understand it and to know it, and you want to to know it, then that's great. You can just keep coming back. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, going to let it know that, that I, I'm not going to rush this. Um, I appreciate the connection and the, the new information.
How does it respond to that? It's a... Uh, it's slowly absorbing that I've had to repeat what I'm saying several times. Yeah. But it sounds like it's understanding. Yeah, it'll need you to, it'll need you to show it, I imagine. And you might ask, you know, what, like how that would look, what it would like from you going forward um, over the next days and weeks. To show it that. Yeah, it's uh, it, it it's saying I I need to remember how young it is. And that I I have to approach it with fun like in a playful way. Yeah. And it, uh, oh, yeah, it's just like, cause I was, I was just swimming with, like, I was just at the pool with a fo my four year old grandson. Uh -huh. and, like, you know, I'm trying to get him to put his head underwater, and it's quite a process to develop that, that trust. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, like I have said to this part, I'm going to take it with me whenever I'm, I have two four-year-old grandsons. And uh, I promised that I would take it with me when I'm playing with them. But I have, I don't know why, like it doesn't really feel like that part doesn't really feel like I'm taking it with me. Yeah. Yeah, it sounds to me like, you know, when it when it says you're not listening and when it says that you're the one that's been doing this, um, it sounds like you're at the, the beginning of that, you know, kind of trust building or... I don't mean beginning like you haven't tried it, I just mean... Yeah, it... Uh... I sort of threw it under the bus <laughs> once already this year, so just uh, expected too much from it. Yeah. In a short period of time. Maybe that was your striving part. Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I'm totally with you on your intuition to not rush it, and, you know, that's usually the, the prescription, is just keep checking in with the parts, you know, check in with this part every day, even if it's just for a minute, just kind of ask how things are going, ask what you can do for it, ask what it wants to show you. letting it know I'll do better this time. And I'll help if you let me. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let, let it know I'm glad I'm happy to help too. Okay. okay.
it. Yeah, yeah. It's relaxing. Good. And I haven't paid attention. I haven't opened my eyes, so I have no no idea of the time. But there's this manager part that's going like must be. Yeah. Time. Well, regardless, <laughs> well, regardless of the time, I think that you're in you're in a beautiful place with this part. You've come to. I mean, it's awesome that you've gotten to this place with it. You've gotten this information from it. You're rededicating yourself, and it's relaxing. So, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't push anything. And if it feels like a good stopping place, then yeah. Thank all those parts. Thank this part. They were all watching. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it feels... <sighs> feels more unified. It's great. James. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for sharing. It's really, really awesome to to witness and seems like you've um this is one of those things that I bet you're great at, <laughs> you know, one of those things that I bet you're great at and that you might be discounting, <laughs> discounting your abilities. Hmm. I bet you're great with four year olds. Yeah, I felt pretty great today. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. Anything else? Any questions for me or anything? Uh, so maybe you can just help me track this a bit because like I get so uh, into it all that I yeah. that it's hard to like um, track it on paper. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have like I have a striving part, frustrated part. Not good enough. Shame. Yeah. Strive. Very part driven by fear. Um. And I think it's awesome that you're that you're wanting to track all those, and you should. Yeah. Um. If I, I I would just focus on this four year old part. It's okay. tell it's telling you you're not listening, and it's telling you. That you that you need to remember how old it is, and I think that the as you said these other parts that are connected to it. Um, yeah, I think a lot of them a lot of them are probably very dependent on how this part is is doing, and that's why they're working so hard. Okay. So. Yeah, they seem to be on board with. Yeah. Yeah. The part of you that, and that, and that might be another part of you. The part of you that wants to track it all and wants to, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Okay, I will do that. Great. I will focus on that part. It's awesome. I hope you uh, keep it, fact, keep I'm it posted. Gonna, oh yeah, I'm just I'm just thinking I'm gonna dig up a picture. Of my of me when I was four, oh. and I'll 
use that as a reminder. That's so sweet. That's that's (laughs) just a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, we'll talk next week. All right. Thank you again. Thank you so much. Okay. Have a good night. Take care. Bye. You too. Bye. Do you want to help bring more self-energy to the world? If you'd like to participate in calls or help out with this project in any way, I'd love to hear your ideas. Join the Discord server or contact me at james at liveifs.com. A huge thanks to our audio engineer, Zikri, for your care and diligence in editing the calls. To every caller for your courage in sharing some of your parts. And to anyone out there getting to know their internal system, keep going. Who knows, that might be the most selfless, helpful thing you can do for others, and you're the only one who can do it. If you'd like to see us reach the largest audience, we must please the almighty suggestion algorithms at iTunes and YouTube, and they don't care about the power of IFS. They're looking for likes and shares and comments, and the sooner the better. Follow the links in the show notes right here in your podcast player to make your wishes known. And now, a minute of meditation. Or if you prefer, pull over. You can do it in 60 seconds. Just click one of those links. They're right there. And give us a like or a five-star rating. It would really help. If you think this project is helping people, you're helping people by sharing it. Thank you.